Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Kiana Charisse and today I'm back with another closet purge. My last one actually did pretty well. Like it seems like people liked watching it so I'm gonna do it again. I feel like last time I just kind of showed y'all the items I was getting rid of and I don't know talking about memories with them or different things like whatever whatever just comes to my head so that's what I'm gonna do today. So last time a lot of the stuff I got rid of was quite old so I just sent it to thread up because I felt like that was that was the most convenient option because with thread up they they send you the bag you just put the stuff in the bag and you can send the bag back for free and they handle everything so I just knew a lot of my older pieces were probably just going to be recycled and they do recycle the fabric so I felt like that was great and I think they listed around six of my pieces for sale. I'll like include a screenshot here or here of what's sold so far but most of it's sold. Um, it's not like the option you use if you want to make some money because I think like off each piece I might have made one to three dollars and that's credit for thread up so that you can shop on thread up so that this is more like the convenient way not the trying to get a little change way so anyways depending on what i get rid of today i may do the same option if i have something that i've only worn a couple times i may look into the other things like poshmark i don't know I'll probably need to decide that before i upload this so i can let you know if i have a poshmark right or those other sites i know there are other sites so yeah, I think that's it before we get into the video. I will say I started taking down my braids. So if you if you clock that, I don't know what it looks like from the back. Um, I think I'm gonna put this in a ponytail, but if you clock it, I started taking my braids out. But today's a big errand day. As you can see, I came on here, this brow gel, cause we ain't even got that kind of time. It's my own fault. I leave, I leave everything to the last day. So today, today will be panic mode, but let's get into the items. Well, I don't know what we're gonna have. Also, <laughs> I'm doing this because I do kind of want to rearrange my closet, which I'm not gonna film because my closet is like, it's not one of them fancy looking closets. Like it's nothing special, but I think I'm gonna switch the order of the items. So the less stuff that's in there, the less stuff I have to move. Cause you know what? Picking up a bunch of hangers at once, it's actually like quite heavy. So yeah, I'm gonna switch to like standing in front of the closet. <laughs> Okay, cool. We are in action. So I don't think anyone would care what I have on, but I'm going to tell you just in case you do, this crop top is old from Fashion Nova. I actually just got this American Eagle. It's like a bra top and I'm like, I'm trying it out today and I'm kind of liking it so far, but it's from, or maybe it's from Aerie. I don't know. Because <laughs> like, are they the same thing? I don't know. And these shorts are from Fashion to Figure, which yeah, you won't see really see them but you know like I said it's an errand day so I think the best option is for me to like talk about it over here but I'm gonna have a picture or video of the item because last time I felt like it was a little like you could see the pieces but you know I feel like that's better so so I have three of these dresses from forever 21 and I will show you all the colors but it's like this basic scuba dress and I got these Definitely several, it's giving at least eight, seven years ago. And they were great at the time because they were like, when I was getting into my style and finding what's comfortable, these are it, they're super comfortable. And I love a fit and flare, very flattering. At this point, I can wear them without a bra if I want to, like you can tell I don't have one on, but you know, it's good enough. But I'm just over this material because it's actually quite hot in my opinion. Like, I don't know, I just feel extra sweaty in this type of material. And I just feel like they serve their purpose for me. But I am I'm ready to make some room. Also ready to get rid of a lot of this flower prints. But definitely back in the day, Forever 21 was like one of my initial spots where I could find good plus size clothes, especially when I was in like undergrad so I appreciate you but like they're literally getting the little I don't know if you can even see but the, like the little lint balls and stuff like girl it's time to go so next we have this kind of cardigan kimono style piece that I'm pretty sure I also got this from forever 21 several years ago and I've only worn it a handful of times because I just keep like I don't know what I want to wear with it it's kind of 
I don't know how to explain it, but I have a hard time just like thinking of an outfit to wear with this. And I just keep it because I do think it's beautiful. I'm here for the velvet looking textures and I love the color actually. Am I talking myself into keeping it? No, I'm not. <laughs> This is also a similar type of item. Like this is fun. I got this from Boohoo and it's sort of like a cape. You tie it around your neck and that's how it stays on, but it, it kind of stays on without it. And I just feel like this kind of style is not really in anymore. And I didn't really wear it that many times either, but yeah, I'm just, I don't know. I'm kind of over trying to make things work, which I think will be a theme of today's purge. Cause I don't plan on getting rid of as much stuff as I did in part one, but yeah, I'm just like, now this, it's a little jumbled up, but it's an off the shoulder sweater that I actually hauled it from Torrid on my channel. And I told y'all in that video, I felt like it was a little too small, but I decided to roll with it and it's a little too small. So I've worn it once, you know, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I just feel like, I don't know, like I may get smaller in time for winter, but that's not how I'm trying to live my life. I don't know. <laughs> but I may attempt to sell this one since I've only, I've only worn it once. All right, this is another Forever 21 top and I just feel like I got I got my use out of this one. I really liked it and I've worn it a whole lot and I just really feel like, you know, I'm kind of over it. It's not necessarily something I would pick out today, but I certainly got my money's worth of this one. I wore this one down. Like I'm not a Forever 21 hater, I, I swear it, but this, this is also from Forever 21. And I actually quite like this. I may sell this one because um, I haven't worn it that many times because I'm just not sure what to do. I think it's the length because it's not quite a crop, but not quite a full length either. And I think I would, I could figure it out more if it was one or the other because I would wear, I have worn it out and just wore like a black bra underneath and it was cute, but... <sighs> I don't know. I don't like pieces where I have to think too hard about how I want to wear them. And that's how I feel about this shirt. But it's cute. Okay, so this shirt I got from Eloquy probably last, no, like two years ago when I was at like a lower weight. At that point, it just barely fit. And after the year at home, I didn't, I ain't got to try this on to know that this definitely doesn't fit. But it's a cute shirt. Like it's a good work shirt. So this is a shirt I got from Fashion to Figure. Actually, one of the first shirts I know I purchased from them a real long time ago. So that's how you know this is old. But this is also like that same scuba-ish material that I was talking about the Forever, the Forever 21 dresses have. Like, I don't really like how this feels anymore, though it was popular at the time. But this is very much like holding on to the past. You know, it's got the peplum. It was very much it for that time. And I kind of still actually don't think this would be a bad work shirt, depending on, you know, how much cleavage. I can't remember how much I have. And this one, this can make someone else happy, I think. I don't know. I'm, after I'm done with this, like when I actually take the pictures and videos I was talking about, whichever I end up doing, I will like really inspect the quality then and, you know, see. Now, this is a bodysuit that I got from Fashion Nova. I actually hauled it on my channel. It's part of Meg's. Meg Thee Stallion's first collection and I didn't like it then but you can't return body suits so like I've tried it on again and it's a no so this is like in pristine condition like I I never actually wore it but I don't know if you could I don't know the etiquette on selling body suits because on the one hand it's basically selling underwear but on the other hand I tried it on over you know I don't know. Let me know what you think about that. Like, would you buy a bodysuit or a swimsuit? Is that in my head? That's weird. But I don't know. Is it as weird as I'm thinking? This is another top from Fashion Nova. I actually still kind of like this, but it's one of those tops that, you know, I've worn so many times. Like, I'm not the kind of person who can't take pictures in items multiple times. You'll see some familiar favorites all up and down my Instagram. But this one, I don't know what this one out. And I feel, I feel good letting it go. And I think it's kind of, I don't know if it's out of style because it says kind of bad, kind of bougie. So, you know, that was a thing. And now that thing is kind of over. So 
Here's a dress from Rub Dolls that I'm ready to, you know, give someone else. Like this is actually a really cute dress, but I'm not really into the color scheme anymore. And I've worn it a whole lot. So yeah, I just feel like someone else can love this. <laughs> I'm like trying to find places to hang these items that, you know, won't be annoying if I don't actually get to the other part today, but it's getting wild. <laughs> you know what? This is the skirt that matches with that Fashion Nova Meg Thee Stallion bodysuit. And you know what? I be trying to make this one work, but you know what? I'm gonna I'm just sell that as a pair because I don't like this that much either. Like, it's not bad. If you go see that video, you'll see what it looked like on me, but I don't love it. And I, I actually wanna love everything in my closet or at least see the use for it, you know? I think I'm ready to get rid of this romper as well. I got this from Boohoo cause I needed a white outfit for actually a retreat I went on. I never really felt comfortable in this. Like it looks okay but it's not i could look a lot better basically so it's like it's it's comfortable it's mad comfortable it's a great material and like i have nothing bad to say about it but i've never really liked it on me so why do i still have it so speaking of boohoo first up i have this well only up i have this cardigan that i actually think is still really pretty but i don't like the material it's made out of like it's kind of not really scratchy, but I don't know, it's kind of hot. I just, I don't know, it served its purpose because I've had this for, it's definitely, I feel like one of the first purchases I made at Boohoo, like the first couple when I discovered the site, like however many years ago. So I do still like it, but I don't like the material. I don't want to wear it. <laughs> but I did actually wear it the other week, which is what made me think about this because I got some compliments on it, like people stopped me. But yeah. Then the last item is these jean shorts that still have the tag on them because I got them probably five years ago from, I don't know if these are Fashion Nova or Forever 21. Sometimes they have the same suppliers, so you know, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, girl, I've been waiting for these to fit and they not going to. So I give up and it's fine because I do have some that fit now. Oh, and those are, if you want to know, I should probably tell you. Um, I got the Universal Thread shorts from Target, and I like how those fit. I have these Fashion to Figure jean shorts from Sarah Ray's collection in my last video. Those ones, I love them. And I would also love to try some American Eagle shorts just because I love the jeans. So I would like to try the shorts as well. Yeah, guys, that's going to be it for my Closet Purge. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and you like this type of video. If there's anything that, I don't know, you think is interesting in these types of videos, let me know because I'm sure I'll do one again in maybe towards the end of the year. I don't know. If I do end up determining that any of these are worth selling, I will put that in the description box or the comments of what I'm doing if you're interested. Um, but otherwise, they're going to thread up. But yeah, guys, that's it for the video. If you like the video, please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, if you would like to. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.